The Cotton Council's report is the first definitive look at cotton plantings. While cotton prices rallied to a nine-month high recently, it seems more competitive row crops like corn and soybeans may win out this year, and this could create a 30-year low in cotton production. Rumblings over a drop in 2013 cotton acreage started last fall. You know, when you put in uh, $600 to $650 expense for cotton, and you're only getting out $500 because of low cotton prices at uh, 56 and 60 cents a pound, uh, it doesn't work. Based on a survey the National Cotton Council conducts each year with its growers, Texas's planted cotton acres will drop 25% this year, which is in line with the national estimate. The survey shows overall cotton acres to be down nearly 27% falling to just over 9 million acres. The region where cotton will take the biggest hit is the Mid-South, where Arkansas growers say they plan to reduce their cotton acreage by more than 60%. Mississippi isn't far behind, down just under 60%. And acres in Tennessee are projected to be cut in almost half. The Mid-South has a lot of ability to switch between cotton and corn and soybeans and even to some degree in the Southeast. The survey showed corn to be the most popular alternative crop choice this year, followed by soybeans. When we compare where the cotton market is today, as growers start to make those planting decisions, and we look at the cotton market relative to corn and soybeans and compare that to where we were last year, cotton's not as competitive. Adam says in areas like Texas and the Southwest, cotton remains a viable option for many farmers. The cotton is more drought tolerant, so there, there's not the same uh, alternatives that we may see in some of the other parts of the region. Adam says many cotton gins and warehouses across the country were able to weather the storm in 2009 when cotton acres saw a significant drop. Much of Texas's infrastructure seemed to be immune. This year could be a different story. We'll have to tighten our belt. We have confidence that it will return. We're, we're, we, oppose, as opposed to some of my Mid-South friends, they're, they're losing their infrastructure. At this point, we don't expect that, but uh, if things don't change, we will. Adam says just because planted acres will be down doesn't necessarily reflect a decrease in overall cotton production. Favorable weather could still give us, even if acres are down in 2013, it's not to say that production will necessarily fall. It'll depend on what happens, particularly with weather in Texas. On the shorter term, uh, the, the forecast is uh, not especially optimistic or pessimistic because the conditions are near normal in the Pacific. So we don't have the big El Nino, La Nina driver. Clinton Adams says the surplus of cotton in the world is also impacting planting decisions. So increased competition from world markets as well as increased competition from man-made fibers. Adams says the bottom line is the industry has to continue to grow demand. All right, could be big changes for those southern Definitely. states. Thank